Welcome back, viewers. It's time for another episode of Science Day of Life. I hope you've got your announcements ready because today we're going to learn all about sound. But sound's obvious. It's all comes out of our mouth. Well, there's more to it than that. Before we even begin to start about what makes sound, let's travel back to time and learn about the history. at the lab. Why are we at the beach? Hey there, I'm Leonardo da Vinci. What? The name to Turtle? No, no, no. I'm a famous Italian thinker and artist. And what about you, Bob? You also a thinker and artist? I'm Galileo. 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 that mad sound wave? What? I didn't know sound traveled in waves. Uh, yeah, actually. Yeah, I was actually the first person to try this out. Actually, dude, I think you find it's me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. One at a time. Let's get back to the water. What is a sound wave? or sound waves that we can hear. Look, you can see them moving. These sound waves are formed by objects vibrating, shaking back and forth. Like when I hit this bottle. delicate skin of the eardrums vibrate. Here's a close-up on what the ear looks like inside. The sound travels through your ear along the ear canal through your eardrum. From there it travels around the concrete and down the eye chamber. We hear no sound. Okay, let's get to the How and when to find a sound wave. He discovered that sound waves travel in a way of fifteen hundred. And he discovered that if you hit a bell from different places, it will it makes a different pitch. Well Galileo took it one step further and actually understood it. And he was the first scientist to record the frequency of the wave, the pitch of uses. So actually, both of you made a great contribution. First one to catch the wave is a winner! Totally right. All this talk about sound waves, but I can't picture what you mean. Can't we just see an action? Are you to be experimenters to find us? Glad you asked. We have an exciting experiment lineup just for you that will demonstrate all you have to know about sound. Have you ever noticed that it's harder to hear people when they are further away? Here's a way to speak to your friends without, from meters away without yelling. Remember to work with an adult. We take no responsibility or liability for loss of limbs. Please contact our lawyers for further information. First, you can get two cups, two meters of string, tape, and a pencil. After that, take a pencil or a scissor and take it and then poke a small hole through the cup, a big one, um, and, and thread the string. Don't forget to tie, tie it 
tie a knot so it won't slip out. Make sure the cup is facing outwards. Secure it with a bit of masking tape to keep things in place. Repeat step 3 with the other cup. With your partner, set 2 meters apart with the tight string. Speak through the cup. Did they hear you? Take turns to say a sentence. Now, do the same thing with the loose string. So, what happened? What was the difference in sound? Well, apparently, you can only hear your friend's voice when the string is tight. But why was that? Speaking into the cup creates sound waves which are converted into vibrations at the bottom of the cup. The vibrations travel along the string and are converted back into sound waves so your friend can hear what you say. But it travels even better for sonnets, such as the cup and string, allowing you to hear sounds that might be too far away when threatening through the air. Wow! Wonder how the vibration feels about that. Over to our reporter in the field, Molly Q. Thanks, Molly. I'm thrilled to be here on site for Science Doverload. Let's touch base with the tight string first. Hey guys, how's it going? Pretty good, thanks Molly. Couldn't it be better if we're all tight with one another? It doesn't feel like what when you're close to your colleagues. It's so easy for the good vibrations to pass between us. Great news, you seem to really be on top of things. Now over to the loose ring. Hi guys, how about with you? What? traditional end of assembly song then? Yeah, sounds great.
drum, the cochlea, the auditory nerve, and the eardrum. when two things vibrate together. Here are some photos of our learning. Enjoy! 